Hello YouTube, welcome to part 6 of my mini-series on the textual criticism of the Quran. In this video, I will look at anachronisms. What is an anachronism? According to dictionaries, something or someone that is not in its correct historical or chronological time, especially a thing or person that belongs to an earlier time. If you watched Peter Sellers in The Party, or seen the welding on chariots in oh Ben-Hur, you know exactly what I'm talking about. By the way, the wristwatch so often quoted as a classical anachronism in the movie is actually not true, but is still often used as an example. So let me give you two or three quick examples of these anachronisms in the religious text called the Noble or Holy Quran to show that this book cannot be the creation of a perfect God. If we look at the conception and birth of Jesus according to the Quran, we have Mary being blown into and conceiving without any further details. With the New Testament, as Jesus having religious discussions at the age of 12, the Quran can do one better and has him chatting away from the day of birth. In the Quran, we read that Mary is the sister of Aaron or Harun and the daughter of Imran or Amram in different verses. Where the Bible implies Mary, the mother of Jesus, is the daughter of Joachim or Joachim, the Quran categorically states that Mary is the daughter of Imran and the sister of Moses and Aaron. Who were these Imran, Amran and Aaron? Where do these stories come from? Well, there were several popular collection of stories circulating at the time called, for example, The Birth of Mary and the Childhood of the Saviour, which later became the Gospel of Pseudo-Matthew, or Narration about the Childhood of the Christ, where you could find these names and which explains the author's misunderstanding. Looking at the Bibles, for example, 1 Chronicles 6.3, we do find a Miriam or Mary, sister of Aaron, the children of Amram, Harun, Moses and Maryam, which would make a woman called Mary the sister of Aaron and Moses, but they are said to have existed around 1500 before the Common Era and the miraculous conception of Mary or Maryam, the mother of Jesus. Wrong Mary. Whoops. This, of course, has not gone unnoticed by Islamic scholars and apologists, who are quick to point out that here the Quran is not to be taken literally and that daughter and sister are, well, in these verses, spiritual words and only relate to the fact that Mary, the mother of Jesus, shared a genealogy and was part of the larger family. Hmm. To quote Peter Wingard of Department is fame, Oh, really? Well, all the Muslims' claims and attempts at justifying the anachronism have been thoroughly refuted by Christians, who probably know their text better than I ever could. So if you want further details on this, follow the links and read up on it. For my next example, I went to Exodus 32, where it says Aaron created a golden calf. The Quran repeats the story in Surah 2087, alas with a slight error of, well, difference. Surah 2087. Okay, you can read it up here. If we compare the two stories, we see that the Jewish and Christian Bibles attribute the idea to Aaron, who then also produces the calf. In the Quran, the general idea is copied, but some of the details have been changed slightly. If we accept that Moses existed around the year 1500 BCE, then it is impossible that the Asamiri or Samaritans proposed anything at the time, as Samaritans did not come into being as a race until almost a thousand years later. Whoops. As we know, the Quran proposes quite a few means of torture and extremely cruel ways of punishment. As in the previous Bibles, it also mentions a means of torture, crucifixion. In 7124, Allah has an unnamed pharaoh threaten some people with torture and death. Surely I shall have your hands and feet cut off upon alternate sides. Then I shall crucify you, everyone. I don't know how you can crucify someone after you. Hands and feet, whatever. Now, while cutting off hands and feet may have been standard practice by Arabs three or four thousand years ago, during the rule of the pharaohs, crucifixion had not been invented yet. It would take another 1500 or 2000 years until the Phoenicians or the Carthaginians developed this charming method, which was later copied by the Romans. So no pharaoh could have possibly heard of crucifixion, and it is not mentioned in any Egyptian text of that era. Whoops. 
So these three quick examples of Mary the Samaritans and Crucifixion all show that they were placed into a wrong time period in the texts, a basic mistake an all-knowing God would hardly make. So either the God of the Muslims is not all-knowing, or the Quran was written by mere mortals, prone to make mistakes because we are, after all, humans. All the background information, along with the attempts at explaining them away, are easily accessible on the web. Just go and look for them. <laughs> Thank you for your time and have fun looking. The mission has been completed.